Okay, tomorrow will be uh, the first trading day of the week. Today is uh, January 21st, 2013. Uh, this week there are some uh, big cap uh, earning report and one is uh, Google. Google is scheduled to report after the uh, close uh, tomorrow. And right now the option market is uh, pricing Google to be uh, uh, somewhere around moving up and down uh, a little bit over five percent, so it'd be somewhere around uh, thirty to thirty-five dollar. And uh, if Google move uh, up by uh, you know that amount, then essentially it could uh, bring it back up to somewhere around this uh, you know uh, near this uh, seven forty uh, plus area here. And if it's going down, then it could uh, come down to. Uh, this uh, somewhere around the uh, 670, uh, 675 area. So uh, that's the uh, the range that uh, most likely we could keep an eye on. Although that uh, it certainly could uh, overshoot, uh, you know, either one of these uh, level here. Uh, right now, it seems like that the uh, the market is uh, could be setting up for a, uh, a a a positive reaction on on Google because it, it did come down. To uh, these uh, particular support level here last week, it seems to be pulling back, shake out some of the uh, the weak hand, and get ready for the uh, earning report. So we'll see. I mean, uh, nobody have a crystal ball to exactly uh, predict uh, what it's gonna do. All we could uh, do as a uh, uh, you know market participant is to set parameter and watch uh, to see uh, how it play out. So definitely, uh, uh, you know, Google is one to watch, and also the other one is uh, IBM. IBM is also uh, reporting earning tomorrow after the close, and that too, you know, IBM been sort of kind of, you know, uh, trending within this uh, price channel here, right? And it came down last week or so to this uh, supporting trend line here on this price channel and making its way back up, and it could be, uh, you know, heading back up to. Uh, this uh, uh, 196 area, and if break that 196, we could easily see this might be heading up to uh, you know this upper uh, uh, channel here somewhere around the uh, 200 mark. And who know uh, uh, if the uh, Dow Jones continue, Dow Jones Industrial continue to uh, make a new high and try to hit that uh, all-time high, then uh, we might see uh, IBM actually come up. To uh, this uh, 204 level and possibly uh, maybe take out this gap and fill out this gap. Then the uh, other big one will be on Wednesday is uh, Apple computer, Apple or Apple. And uh, you can see Apple uh, still on a downtrend here based on this uh, trend line. And Apple is uh, based on the option market, is pricing about a 7% move. And if we uh, use the uh, current price level, then that would be uh, somewhere around the, uh, you know, thirty-five dollar, and uh, that could put this, uh, you know, the uh, Apple back up here somewhere around this uh, five thirty-five. Or if it have a uh, negative uh, uh, reaction, then certainly it could uh, put this, uh, uh, you know, uh, this stock down at this uh, four seventy-eight uh, level, which is somewhere around this gap here that will uh, fill this gap. That will be uh, somewhere around this, uh, you know, the uh, 470s area uh, for here, like uh, 476. So uh, depending on uh, how Apple, uh, you know, earnings uh, come out on Wednesday, uh, you know, definitely uh, there are these uh, up, you know, uh, 535 or down 475, 478 area. So uh, definitely these uh, stock will have some impact on. Uh, the uh, market uh, index, uh, such as the uh, Dow Jones 30, the S&P 500, the Q. So uh, these are the uh, market moving stuff for the week to uh, keep an eye on.